What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be introducing you to a fun project that I put together. I will also be showing you how everything connects and talking more about it in detail. So for a long time now, I've always had the idea of making a portable movie theater and I never got around to making it until now. My requirements for this project were portability, which involves being able to take it anywhere. More importantly, not having to rely on a wall outlet wherever I go. The next requirements are decent sounding audio, a decent sized screen, which would allow multiple people to enjoy. Lastly, having various media playback options. There are many ways you can pull this off, so do not restrict yourself to what I have chosen. The most important thing is to just have fun with this, let your creativity run wild. As a disclaimer, all the products that I'll be showing you today, I have owned previously. So with that being said, I did not spend any money in order to put this together. I'm calling this video version one because I am open to suggestions on how I can make it better. And if there's anything that catches my eye, then there might be version two and later, possibly. Without further ado, let's go and jump in. This is basically what the finished product will look like. I even made this DIY box to carry all the items. The white paper is simply to cover up the logos on the box because I don't want to give free publicity to anyone. You can, of course, draw over that and make it look pretty. The box is pretty small, so it makes it easy to carry. The whole setup is battery powered. I'll show you exactly what I did. This being a projector, you can adjust the screen size by pulling it further away or closer to the wall or object you will be projecting on. I am using Kodi, which allows me to have various playback options like I mentioned in the beginning. I can either play media over Wi-Fi from my Plex server or connect the hard drive and playback media from that. You can, of course, stream movies and TV shows from third-party add-ons, but this video is not intended for that. All right, so that's pretty much a quick look. I'll be showing you a real-world use at the end, so stay tuned. All right, let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. So don't pay any attention to this box. I just DIY this myself and try to cover up all the logos. Maybe in version 10, I'll have uh, my own custom printed box or whatever. We'll see what happens. So when you open it up, here I decided to Velcro the remote so I could just fit it in there. I just take it out. I'll show you guys that later. So this is everything connected together and I'll show you what everything is. So, so for a screen, I decided to go with this portable projector that I had. And the reason I chose this one is because it has a built-in battery like most of them do. But um, in case you don't know what a portable projector is, that's basically what it does. And you are able to use it for a couple hours from that built-in battery, or you can plug it into the wall and use it that way as well. This specific projector has a micro SD card slot, so you can play your video straight from the projector, but it takes a few steps to convert the video to a readable format. And it just, I prefer to have Cody do all the work for me and pretty much it. It has a micro USB in order to access that SD card, audio out, AV in, mini HDMI. So if you have a device with full HDMI, you have to buy a mini HDMI to full HDMI cable and a universal IO. This projector also has a speaker, but I found that it's not the best quality. It sounds muffled. So that is why I decided to use something else. I'll, I'll show you along the way. So that's pretty much what I used for screen. I'll link this one in the description, but I'll warn you right now that it is pretty pricey. So I recommend going ahead and searching your options and maybe you'll find a better one at a more affordable price. I have this small tripod that I can mount the projector to, which comes in handy. Now the next star of the show is the Raspberry Pi. This one is the Raspberry Pi 3 with built-in Wi-Fi. It has four USB ports and a micro SD card slot at the bottom, as you can see here. I just put in a 32 gigabyte micro SD and it's enough to pretty much hold a few movies if I wanted to. I have the HDMI to mini HDMI connected, as I mentioned before. In order to control the Raspberry Pi, I just have this remote here. I'll also leave a link in the description for that. It's pretty cheap and it works great. You get a full size keyboard and a little touch pad. This one also has a built-in battery. So again, that puts emphasis on my portability requirement. I mentioned that the projector 
sound quality is terrible so for that i have my own portable speaker this is a beats pill but you can of course go with a much cheaper speaker if you want it has the audio in and audio out i have the speaker directly connected to the raspberry pi and when you do that, you have to go into settings and change the audio output to analog. That way it'll go straight to the speakers. And doing it that way, I found the audio to be the best quality possible. Again, for the projector that I had, the audio quality was terrible from the built-in speaker. I even tried connecting the speaker straight to the projector and the audio was a little better, but it was still terrible. So the best quality came from the Raspberry Pi connected directly to the speaker. The last thing I have here is an external battery pack, which I reviewed on my website. You can check the link in the description to see what I had to say about that. But this one met all the requirements to power up the Raspberry Pi. So I recommend you guys do your research first. Make sure that it's enough to power the Raspberry Pi. This one is 16,000 milliamps, so it lasts quite a while. I actually went ahead and did an SSH command into the Raspberry Pi and had it running playing Star Wars The Force Awakens and it was up for three hours before I decided to just stop the test and the battery was still at 75 percent so with that being said it does last longer than three hours I just didn't want to have it running the whole day so I stopped it once it reached three hours this battery pack was even enough to allow me to plug in an external hard drive in order to play my movies so I actually chose this hard drive right here it's uh, one terabyte, I have a couple movies on there, and I just connected this straight to the Raspberry Pi without any issues. Like I said in the beginning of my video, you can play movies from Plex or stream them straight from any third-party add-ons. All right, so basically the whole setup is pretty easy. When I plug everything together, when I'm ready to play anything, I just reach here, press the power button once, and you can see the light on the Raspberry Pi turn on. This portable battery has two USB ports, so one goes straight to the Raspberry Pi. It's required at all times. The other one, I just have it connected to charge the Beats pill. However, once it's fully charged, I can disconnect it and I can actually use this cable to charge any micro USB device or I can remove it completely and charge an iPhone. I can even charge this remote if I need to. Then to turn on the battery, I just reach around here and I'll hear it go on and then do the same thing when I wanna turn it off. So it's not too difficult. This case actually came out pretty good. Basically, whenever I wanna take everything with me, I just neatly put everything together, put the tripod there, make sure everything is neatly put together, close the box, and take it with me anywhere I want. In the little introduction video, I showed you the front, which has some holes for the speaker sound to come out of while keeping the speaker inside the box. Last but not least, for fun, I just had this little window down here which basically shows the battery level of my portable battery because the way I set it up, it's actually face down. That way I could have it on the left side and have the Raspberry Pi on the right side. But if I wanna check the battery level, I just flip the box under. So you can see the battery level without having to take the battery out and pretty much know when you need to charge it. That's pretty much it for the whole setup. Now I will go outside and give you guys a real world usage. I took this outside and placed it on a stool. Then I quickly set it up in about 61 seconds. So you should be up and running in no time. And then I started playing movies from my hard drive, which provided a faster loading time. I avoided putting the audio here just to not get flagged for copyright, but it does work. And that's pretty much it. You can enjoy any movie in the outdoors, even if you're away from home. Grab yourself a lawn chair, a couple friends, and you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one.